Hi everyone, in this video we'll be discussing the problem top k elements in a stream. So basically you'll be given a stream of numbers. Now what does a stream mean? So basically if you have seen river so or a normal stream of water, so what happens is the river keeps on flowing, right? The water keeps on flowing. Similarly in that way the numbers will keep on flowing. So firstly you will have one number, then next, then one more, then one more. So like that the stream will keep on building. Now your task is what? Your task is that in uh, in this stream always you have to tell that what are the top k elements in terms of frequency. With respect to frequency what are the top k elements? Okay, we'll understand this with the help of an example as well. If you will see, uh, in other words, you have to iterate over the array and after every index and you have to determine what are the top k frequent elements if the total number of distinct elements are less than k. Okay, so let us discuss the first example and let's see what the problem says here. So suppose that n has been given to us as what? Let me just open the whiteboard here. Okay, then we'll discuss this. So let us quickly start discussing this. Basically, uh, here suppose that n has been given as what? Let's say n has been given to us as uh, 5, right? So there are 5 elements. So one by one, I'll talk about the stream. Then k has been given as 4. So uh, we have the array as 5, 2, 1. Okay, we have the array as 5, 2, then 1. Then the next elements are 3 and 2. Okay, so if you will see here, uh, firstly, you will have only one element 5. And you have to tell what are the top four frequent elements. So the answer for that would be five only. Okay. Then after that, if you will see the next time, this in the stream five and two would be there. And what are the top four elements according to frequency? So five and two are there only. So the output would be five and two also. Then when you will have five, two and one, so all the elements are having frequency as one and they will ask you for top four elements according to frequency. Then also you can write 5, 2 and 1 only. Then after that, in the next test case, if you have 5, 2, 1, 3, then obviously you have four elements and you are asked about the four distinct elements are there which are having frequency as 1 and k has been given as 4. So the four top four elements that are uh, frequent is nothing but 5, 2, 1 and 3 you can say, right? But the uh, if you will see later on, uh, suppose that uh, there is one uh, issue like in this case now what will happen is in this stream the elements would be what now after that when you will have 5 2 1 3 and then 2 inside the stream now in this case what will happen is now you will have 2 with the frequency as 2 1 with the frequency as 1 3 with the frequency as 1 and you will have 5 with the frequency as 1 so if you are having uh, frequencies like this and you want the four uh, most frequent elements so again you can say here that since there are four distinct elements only so so the answer would be again all these elements would be written so this is a easier test case, I guess. Let's discuss the second test case and see. Yeah, we do have a second test case here as well. But in that test case also distinct elements are not given. So I will take a test case. Suppose that currently what happens is uh, if you have got five, then you have got five, then you have got seven, then you have got seven, then you have got seven, and then you have got what? Let's say you have got uh, something like eight here. Okay. And you have been asked to give the top two elements according to frequency then what will happen is you can say that you can always have a map at any instance and in this map you will see that 7's frequency would be updated to what 3 okay then you will say that 5's frequency would be 2 okay then 8's frequency would be what 1 and then you can insert all these uh, elements uh, as a pair inside an array and you can sort according to the frequency parameter right according to the second parameter because like you can do what you can insert inside an array you can insert pairs like 7 comma 3 okay then you can insert 5 comma 2 and then you can insert 8 comma 1 once you have inserted these pairs then after that the k value has been given as 2 so like what you will do is you will sort this array okay you will sort the array of pairs according to the frequency that is according to the second parameter and uh, according to the decreasing order of the second parameter okay because that is the most important thing and after that you can simply print the first k elements and you can see that after even after sorting what will happen the pairs would still be 7 comma 3 then 5 comma 2 and then 8 comma 1 uh, because what will happen here is like you can see that the mo the highest frequency is 3 then 2 and then 1 and I have to pick the top two. So I'll pick the first two elements of, uh, and then I will print the first part here. That is, I will print what? I will print uh, seven and then I will print five. So basically I can print seven and five uh, as the answers when k has been given as two for such kind of a test case. So I've, I hope you have clearly understood this approach. It is basically map and array where inside the array you have to do the sorting based on the frequency because inside an array uh, instead of one element you will have what you will have a pair of elements right and in the pair you have to sort according to the decreasing order of the frequency and then you will print the top uh, k elements of the array 
which uh, because the array is sorted in decreasing order of frequency. So let us quickly iterate through the code and see what we can do here. So basically I'll create a list first of all that uh, that I can return. Okay. Then after that, what we will do is uh, we can simply say that we can have a map for ourselves, right? Uh, map of integer comma integer, then whatever element we are at, we will in increase the frequency. Then we will declare an array of pairs. Okay. Which, uh, which will iterate throughout the map and it will store the element along with its corresponding frequency. Then after that, I will sort this array according to a comparator. And what is my comparator based on? My comparator is based on the second uh, second parameter, that is the frequency. So if the frequency of two elements are same, then I will sort according to the ascending order of the elements. Suppose that, uh, suppose that element three is there with the frequency as five. And suppose that element six is there with the frequency as five. So if three and uh, six both are having frequency as five, then I will put three first, okay? Otherwise, I will sort according to the decreasing order, order of the frequency if the elements are uh, not having the same frequency. Okay, then after the array is sorted, then what I will do is I will simply iterate in the array and suppose that if the number of elements, number of distinct elements in the array, if it is lesser than K, then I need to print all the elements. Okay, suppose that I wanted five most frequent elements. Okay, but there are only three distinct elements. So I'll print all those three distinct elements. Otherwise, what I will simply do is otherwise I can say, that I will iterate in the whole array and I will print the first k elements, first k most frequent elements and the first part of the array is containing the exact element whereas the second part is containing the frequency so I only uh, need to consider the first part of the answer, uh, answer of i dot first only, okay? And then at the end of the day, we will return the list. So I hope that you have clearly understood this problem. It is a very uh, easy and normal problem when it comes to solving with the help of map. You, you could have also used a priority queue approach. In case if you have any doubts, you can comment and ask me. Uh, thank you for watching this video.